Hey guys, it's P. I am today going to walk you through an updated version to a video I actually made a year ago that is an accounts dashboard for your accounts if you manage any customers. I'm an account manager slash I work in customer engagement and success. Whether you work in that side of things or in sales, if you just need to keep track in general of accounts, then this is a Notion template for you. I recently just uploaded a video that walks through the workflow dashboard that I use on a daily basis. Feel free to check that video out, but I figured that I would make a specific one in case you're like, I don't really need to change my whole day to day. I just want to track accounts. Well, look no further. And if this would be helpful, go ahead and head down to the description, click the link and you can get this for free and uh, check out the rest of my templates while you're there. Let's dive in to the template itself. So pretty simple and straightforward. Broken up into two views, so I'll go over the board view. I have it split up by a couple different properties. So I like to put new accounts in its own sort of funnel because as you may know, when you first get an account either onboarded or transitioned to you, they might require a little bit more attention to kind of get them ramped up. It's just nice to have them in their own kind of space. Then over here, I have primary. So those are just accounts that you've had a while, you've built that relationship and you're just kind of going steady. Then I have secondary. In my role, there are accounts that I am secondary on that I help out with. I don't necessarily keep track of them as in depth as the accounts that I primarily manage. I have them there so that I can keep an eye on everything that I'm on. And then I have churned. And I keep churned accounts. I don't delete them, try to re-engage them. As you can see, there are a couple properties that are displayed here. So obviously the name, the industry. Then I have last contact date. And actually this is sorted by last contact descending. So anyone that you haven't contacted or met with in quite some time will be at the bottom of their respective category and then business description. I am with that going to click into this sample account. As I said, last contact business description held since a place to put the link to their Salesforce profile, their website link. Next coming down here, I have a communication tracker. This is probably the most useful thing in any part of this template. I do have this in a toggle so that you can kind of zip it up, put it away if you don't need to see it, especially as these start stacking up. That way you don't have to like scroll all the way to the bottom. Here you can see that there is a meeting log. So there's two different templates that I have here. Meeting, which is set to be the default. I'm assuming that you do more meetings with your customer than you do per se internally. But in the case that you have something like an account team that's cross-functional, account management, customer success, and sales, here is an example of how it looks. Here's how it works. If you are meeting with your customer today, you would just click new. Let's say it's for an ABR, annual business review. I do like to put the person's name and then the date. So again, another thing that is sorted by the date descending. Then I'm going to open this. And here's a place where you can take notes. From those notes, you can create action items or a little to-do list. I usually just write a quick to-do list myself, but utilizing Notion AI is definitely a game changer. The main reason that I love this communication log is because it is so powerful. When you go to meet with your customer next, here's how I use it. Let's say that I have a meeting tomorrow, which that would suck because tomorrow is Saturday. But let's say I have a meeting with them tomorrow. I can jump into the last meeting that we had, the one before that, and I can see those call notes, what we talked about, etc. And I can make sure that I check in about what we talked about 
previously. Another thing that I do to prepare for a meeting might be like checking them out on Google News and seeing if there's any updates that I could bring up or deals that they close that I could congratulate them on. It's just really nice to have these notes kind of up on the side of your Zoom call, let's say. And not to mention, when you actually go through and clean these notes up, you could just copy and paste them directly into your CRM, whether that's Salesforce or another one. Coming down here, only a couple more things. So we have uh, where they're based and then background notes. This is nice for when you are either transitioning the account, so getting it from someone else or onboarding it and you are learning about the business itself, good, good place to put those there. In the case that your company creates account plans on a yearly basis, I will go in and screenshot and just kind of drag that over so that I can easily reference that and I don't have to go digging around for it. Another thing I have over here is a place for contacts. A lot of times, of course, there will be several day-to-day -day contacts. Here, what you can do is kind of click in here and you can just hold down Command D or you could hit duplicate. You just fill them out. And last but not least, I have checklists. So there's a couple different ones. Onboarding, if this is not a new account, what you can do is just click in here and delete it with the understanding that my onboarding checklist at my company might be different than yours. I actually emptied this out. So I will show you how to utilize this in a minute when we go to create a new account. Then there's the customer journey. So I did keep this. This is just like a general customer journey. Although again, this might differ from what you guys use. And then a re-engagement checklist. So this is really useful if, again, you're trying to re-engage like a, a churn risk account or an actual churned account, then you can kind of keep track of what efforts you have made to re-engage with them. So that's basically it for the inside of an account. Let's jump back into the actual dashboard and look up here at the template. So as you can see, the new account template is set to be the default. Again, what that means is basically wherever you click new, whether it's here or there, it'll create a new account for you that will populate in here with everything and you can go ahead and fill everything out. When it comes to the checklist stuff and actually customizing the inside of that template, making it your own, putting in there the things that would really help you with organization, what we'll do is come to this dropdown and actually edit this template. So you know that you are in the right spot making changes when you see this, you're editing a template in accounts. Here you can come and make any edits you would like. As a reminder, moving forward, if you change any property here, add things, delete things, rename them, that will reflect over all of the accounts, the ones moving forward, the ones that already exist, However, if you should want to change things down here in the body of the account page, those changes would only be reflected on the accounts that will be made in the future, not the ones that you already created. So I always make a point to say, make sure that this is to the fullest extent what you want each account to look like before you start creating your accounts and inputting information in here. Granted, things will probably change. Again, I have spent a year tweaking this, changing it. That's all to say, just try your best to make this the way that you want it before you put in your accounts. To personalize these checklists, for instance, you would come here to edit button and then you would add the action items to this. So maybe like intro, whatever, and then just kind of keep adding those hit done. When I next click this, those will populate there. Same, of course, goes for the customer journey and re-engagement checklist. The last thing that I wanted to just show you really quick is there is also a gallery view. So this is a nice way to see all of your accounts in an overview format. As you can see, this is filtered to only include your primary and new accounts. And again, if secondary accounts don't make sense for you, you can just come here and delete. And that is essentially that. So if you like this template and want to use it for yourself, click the link in the description. Like I mentioned, that I'll take you over to Gumroad where you can find this and all of my other templates. Furthermore, if you have any questions or ideas, 
that you would like implemented that would make this even better, but you're not quite sure how to build them out, comment that below. Glad to help out. Thanks guys for watching and happy account tracking.